got God. You've got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happy. You've got God. You've got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happy. We should be happier. You've got God. You've got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We should be happier. Hi, just Yada here. Hope you are having a good year. In this video, I want to show you the new method of installing the latest Mac, Mac OS 12, on VMware on Windows 11. This will be good for you if you are considering to switch from Linux or Windows to a Mac. Recently, Mac Studio and Mac Studio Display came out. That may be a reason for you to switch from Windows or Linux to, to Mac operating system. One way to feel how a Mac works is to install it on VMware on Windows. It will give you a perfect feel of what the operating system is. In short, when I was at the university, I had opportunity to get a Mac, MacBook Pro, but I opted for Dell, Dell Inspiron 13. But when I started learning programming, I regretted it. So also if you are a new programmer or you are a computer science student or you are a designer and you want a Mac but you can't afford it, using this new method I will show you to install a Mac on VMware on Windows 11 is a way for you to go. So what you need to install Mac Mac OS 12 on VMware on Windows 11 is you need you need a VMware workstation. You have to sign up on on VMware website, create an account, then you can download it. Also, you need enough memory space in the Windows host machine. For me. I have one terabyte SSD and I still have 626 gigabytes free so I can install Mac on VMware on my host Windows laptop and it will not it will not cause it to suffer memory wise then you need to make sure that you have enough RAM for me to to install Mac OS on VMware on Windows 11. I bought 12 additional RAM, so I have in all I have 16 memory RAM memory running on this PC. So that's another thing you need. Then you need unlocker. When you, when you download and install VMware Workstation, it will not show Apple operating system. So you need an unlocker to run it on the VMware before the option will show. I will give you the unlocker free. Then you need macOS Monterey ISO image. I will give it to you too. This ISO image, I made it the first time they released Mac OS 12. So it's very new. Then also, you need VMware tools. When you use this method to install Mac OS 12 on VMware on Windows 11, it will not be full screen. So you need the VMware tools to make the mark full screen. I will give it to you too. 
for the unlocker i mean you just have to open it once you download it open it once you've downloaded extract it open it and you will have to run this you just have to run this as administrator this win install just right click and run it as administrator that's what will make the vmware workstation to have the option of apple operating system this is a new method you don't need to open any file to add any secret code it's straightforward follow the demonstration and you should have a fully functioning mac you can you you can do FaceTime on the on the Mac on VMware on Windows 11. So follow the video, the demonstration in this video, and you should have it working. So let's run the VMware workstation. Just click it for it to open. So in case you you run the the VMware workstation and this is not what you get this is not the screen so you have to tap you have to click tabs and click home it will give you this window so from there you have to click create a new virtual machine click it don't leave it as custom click typical which is recommended then click next yes leave this option as it is i will install the operating system later next now as i told you if you install mac if you install vmware this apple mac os will not appear what you will have as guest operating system will be microsoft windows linux vmware esx and other you have to run the vm the unlocker this one this one i will give it to you as i said if you don't run this unlocker So I say right click it run it as administrator if you don't run it this Apple Mac OS X will not appear you have to make a note of that then the new method is you see from this option it say Mac Apple Mac OS X that's what you should select here too you have to select Mac OS X server 10.6. Make a note of it. This is what you should select. And that's the new method. This will not keep you this will not make the the installation to run in a loop this will not cause any hitch along the line so remember this option select mac os x server 10.6 and click next name it whatever you want i will name it i'll name it MacBook. I'll name it MacBook Pro. S select wherever you want it to appear on your Windows. Easy. Do you want it on your desktop? So 
I'll just leave it. I'll just leave the default here. Select store virtual disk as a single file. Then depending on your on the memory of your Windows 11, that's what you allot here. Here I want I will give it three fifty. No, let me just give it four hundred. because i have one terabyte ssd so also if you want to use the mac os 12 this virtual mac for a long time you can allot a lot of memory to it so i click next i click finish so here click Edit virtual machine. Here yeah, I will give it four gigabytes. Here yeah, one can run it, but I will give it two, two. You see this CD slash DVD SATA. It says use physical drive. No, select use ISO image. This is where you will pick the Mac OS 12 ISO image. I will give you the ISO image too. So click browse and pick it wherever it is on your laptop. So See, so. select OK. Still click here. Now, if you leave it like this, there will not be sound when you finish the installation. So you have to, you have to come down and click add and select add, select this sound card. Without this sound card, the sound will not work when you have finished your installation. This is also important. So select it. So that way you can play podcasts, you can play YouTube and it will work. Then USB, leave it as it is. So that's, you don't have to do it. It will use, just leave this one as it is. This one is not needed. Accelerate is not needed, so click the network too. You can just use a bridge and click replicate physical network connection state, then click OK. Once you follow the demonstration so far up to this point, you can just click power on this virtual map and wait for for it to you can click full screen this is a new method try to follow the demonstration as you've seen from the beginning and you will have a seamlessly working functioning Mac OS 12. Depending on your network, 
under one hour or one hour 45 minutes you should be working you see we didn't open any file anywhere to add any code we didn't have to add smc equals to version zero no straightforward so this is a new method to install mac os 12 the latest mac on vmware on the latest windows operating system which is windows 11. try it it works see once you see see that so then select your language click next see now here don't click install mac os monterey click dix utility and click continue before you do anything come to views and say show all devices then see this first option that says vmware virtual sata hard drive media click it once you click that click erase then name it whatever you want i'll still name it macbook pro and select erase that's all you need to do for that then you click you close it then now you can install click install mac os monterey and click continue this is a new method it works i use this method to install catalina i learned this method first using catalina it works successfully to the point that i updated the catalina to big saw then i updated that catalina to mac os monterey it works follow it follow the demonstration in the video as you've seen so far and it should work for you yeah do we click continue oh so it's okay then here you click agree then select this hard drive and click continue the mac os monterey the iso image is being installed on that at this point you just have to wait i break to tell you that there is good news for mac os on virtual box i want to tell you that when before this time when you install mac on virtual box on oracle virtual box the sound doesn't work but now they have fixed that your mac on virtual box oracle virtual box will have sound you can play podcast you can play you can play youtube i say that because vmware you have to pay for the license fee but oracle virtual box is free you don't need to pay for the license fee to use virtual box and next week i will show you how to install 
Marco S. Monterey on VirtualBox on Windows 11. So if you are if you can't afford to buy VMware Workstation, Oracle VirtualBox is a good option for you. So that's still to come next week if you are interested in that. And kindly subscribe. Apple is already generous to like to have us do this. Oracle and VMware they are generous to have us use Mac this way before you can finally get a Mac. So please subscribe so that struggling students, designers, programmers can use this method to install Mac and do their homework, do their project until they are able to buy a Mac. So subscribe, please share, give feedback. I appreciate all of that. At this point, you just have to wait. This should take 40 to less minutes. And depending on how fast your network is. Installing Mac OS on VMware on Windows 11 is faster than installing Mac OS 12 on Oracle virtual box but they after the installation both they work seamlessly Just wait once you follow the demonstration from the beginning. You have to just be patient. It should be, however, faster if you have a good internet. If you have a better internet, it will be faster. So once you persist, sometimes it will stay on a particular minute for a long time. Don't be discouraged. Just wait. Once you follow the demonstration from the beginning to this point, wait. It will restart 
up to four times before you complete the installation. I thank you for your time. Even though he says a minute left, it may be longer than that. At this point, the key is to be patient. Just be patient, wait for it. And the, the phase will complete for you to finish the installation. I thank you for your time. I thank you for your patience. Yeah, he's getting it done. Don't be discouraged where it says one minute left. It may not be normal one minute. It may take 20 to 25 minutes. All you have to do once you follow the step from the beginning all you have to do is to be patient. Wait, is getting it done. It will restart many times before it gets to where you complete the inst installation. see that so from this point you will just choose your location and you have your mark then later we'll run the VMware tools to make this full screen see how, see how it is now is just a square. We'll run the VMware tools later to make it rectangle to make it this full screen. See that? So choose your location, choose the country you are located in.
Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. See? You can see that the sound is already working. So once you select the country you are from or the country you are living in, you click continue. Now, if you want to add another type of keyboard, you can click Customize Settings. So let's click that. Then click this plus. Select the keyboard that applies to your country. So I'll select US and click Add. Click Continue. Here you can also add the way you Okay, let's just do it again. This is for dictation. Select the language of your choice in case you want to dictate to the map. If you don't want to do any of this, you can do it, do it later. If you don't want to do it right away, you can do it later in the settings. Here you can just select not now. Click continue.
here to select not now. Click set up later. Yes, select skip. You need to agree to the terms and conditions. Agree again. Here, give it any name you want to call this virtual mark. I will give it just. Yeah. Just yada YouTube channel. So I'll just say just yada YC. Give it password. I'm using the tab, the tab button, the tab key. You can
just click continue but you can change this profile picture if you want but just leave it for later click continue here click continue so if it was clicked on click it let's say if it was checked if this was checked like this uncheck it if during your installation it it was checked like this make sure to uncheck it then click continue Yes, confirm, select the first option. Yes. So here your time zone will be selected automatically but you can make changes if you want and you can do all this change in the settings later so just click continue. here uncheck that then click continue click set up later I prefer light. If you want dark, you can select dark. You can make the change in the settings later.
see the dark settings. Now if you want auto, see that. If you want auto to you select that. See, so I prefer light. Again, you can make all these changes in the settings later. So we select continue. So follow the demonstration so far, you should have it this way. The next thing we, we will do now is to make it full screen. See that? See? For this, we just click this to eject it. We no longer need it. So we eject it. Now let's test the browser. Just to show you that the internet works too. So we are testing the sound. We are testing the internet as well. While he's doing that, let's let's test the internet. See that. So this method works. You don't need to type any extra code anywhere for it to work. No.
follow the steps so far and you should get it working for you So let's test this sound. See that. So for podcast, let's see. Welcome to this weekend's In Touch podcast with Charles Stanley. Today's program see? highlights a key passage in the book of Romans to show you how Christ broke the power of sin and Satan. The series. See that. So the podcast, the sound works, the internet works. Before we make it full screen, let's see. See that. Again, it's version 12.0.1. I made the ISO image the first time Monterey came out. So we, you will have to, after we make it full screen, I've done a video on how to on how to update Marco S Monterey on VMware on Windows 11. You can see that video. See, it says update available 12.2.1. So the update works. You can see the that video to know how to update. Now let's shut down to make it full screen so come to settings Click this CD slash DVD. Go and pick the VMware tools. This VMware tools, pick it. Click OK and run it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Hope this helps you to, if you want to switch to using Windows, to using, I beg your pardon, to using Mac, you no longer want to use Windows. You no longer want to use Linux. You can first of all use this method to install Mac OS on your Linux or on your Windows 11 to see how a Mac works. Then if you are a new designer, you are a computer science student, or you are a programmer and you can't afford, you can't afford a Mac, 
you can use this method to install Mac OS Monterey on VMware on Windows 11 and it works very seamlessly. Next week, as I said earlier, you will need to pay for the license for the VMware workstation. But next week, I'll show you how to install Mac OS Monterey on VirtualBox on Windows 11. You don't have to buy the license key for VirtualBox is free. See that. So we we'll enter the password. Even if you are in high school and you need Mac for setting homework, you can use this method too. So that's the VMware tools that we attached. Either you double click it twice to open or you click once and right click to open it. So I will just click it twice. see then click this install vmware tools this will make it full screen click continue Click install. Enter the password for the Mac. Click OK because this VMware tools is not made by Apple. You will have to go to settings to allow it. See, so you have to click open security preference.
see so click the lock key the lock enter the password of the mark here select this allow yes Click try again. Okay, just for this, click cancel. Wait until this completes before you click restart. You see, now you can restart. And before we restart, let us close this. Let's eject this. No, don't eject that here. Just restart it. see you can see that is full screen now see
you can click this eject it you no longer need it now let's test the, the sound again on the internet So this video is showing you a new method of installing the latest Mac, Mac OS 12 on VMware on the latest Windows operating system, Windows 11. So you see the internet works. Okay, the YouTube is playing. Hello, and welcome to Learning English, a daily program from America. I'm on the app. This program is for English learners, so we speak a bit slower. It's for Now the the sound is is low. You will have to go to settings.
Good evening. I'm Steve Miller. In an address Friday morning, U.S. President Joe Biden said that Washington, along with its allies, restricted pressure of what's commonly so referred to as the most favored nation status. The president explained the impact that will have on Moscow. In the United States, we call this permanent normal trade relations, PNTR, but it's the same thing. Revoking PNTR for Russia is going to make it harder for Russia to do business with the United States. And doing it in unison with other nations to make up half of the global economy will be another crushing blow to the Russian economy. It's already suffering very badly from our sanctions. Biden added that this was not the only step that the U.S. is taking. Banning imports of goods from several signature sectors of the Russian economy, including seafoods, vodka, and diamonds. Sound. And we're going to continue to squeeze Putin. The G7 will seek to deny Russia the ability to borrow from leading multinational institutions such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. Now, the notice the, the difference in the sound level. And said that the world was coming together in opposition to his war and to the aid of Ukraine. The G7 is See? also stepping up pressure on corrupt Russian billionaires. So Adding if you want to, to the list of adjust the volume and their families that were you can do it and we're increasing under sound among the G7 countries to target and capture output. their ill-begotten gains. See? Then you can come to the podcast to reduce the volume here. And see, we're going after these through their super yachts and their vacation homes, and worth hundreds of millions of dollars. We're also going to make it harder for them to buy high-end products manufactured in our country. We're banning export of luxury luxury goods and start it. They're also the latest steps we're taking, but uh, they're not the last steps we're going to take. Let's shut it down. Oops. <laughs> My course of mistakenly click lost screen so let's shut it down see so open edit virtual machine settings You see, under sound card, make sure you enable echo cancellation. You can see that the, the podcast was echoing. So remember to enable echo cancellation. Then under this, this just say use. and click OK, then let's start it again. Click Yes. So let's try the internet again. So after we made it full screen, we shut it down and it started, it booted successfully. We will test the internet and the sound, then we will restart it. Once it works after the restart, we are good.
see is working. The internet is working. See that. See, Google is working too. This is the newest project that Musk has undertaken and executed, which is you see that this new sound tiny is house working. for sustainable living. It makes me wonder that is there anything left in this world that this person hasn't already done? As we know that he already owns land and space. Truth is, some. I'm Sean the Compton Game. This is Millennial Money. Here we go. Robert, it's so good to have you back on the podcast. We have had quite a wild year the last year. How have things been for you? It's been great. Thanks so much for having me back. Uh, I'm excited to chat today. There are so many things I want to talk to you about. Uh, we're going to get to talking about crypto savings account, which is the reason why all of us are here. But you cover so many different topics on the College Investor site. And, and just thinking about what we've been through over the last year and uh, money-wise, there's been a lot of different changes. Have there been any really like popular topics that people are really resonating with? Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is like it really just you could I see the real divergence in our country on the college investor. I think we have a lot of people that are struggling. So between unemployment benefits and student loan benefits and all the craziness around tax season and how to get my refund and all these new tax yes, credits, there's a lot of people about. that need help. But on the flip side, there's a lot of people as well that are looking to take advantage of the amazing economic recovery and all the stuff that's going on in the investing world and crypto and all these different things where we're seeing, you know, whole new asset classes being created. And so, uh, yeah, we see both ends of it and it's just been a wild ride to, to see how it's all shaken out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there are these two different dichotomies. I mean, it, it's it's quite stark. It's it's just a really interesting, I think, fascinating time that we're in. Uh, and and crypto, you talked about crypto. That's what we're going to talk about today. And it feels like even people that know nothing about crypto, somehow they're having crypto conversations. <laughs> and uh, I get a lot of questions about, I don't even know what crypto is, but somehow See. I feel like I should be in it. Uh, and and I was on your on your site. Not and all the screensavers so work. I found one on crypto savings accounts. So really excited me. I thought I could talk about this because we all know that we need savings and we talk about savings accounts. Really high yield savings, but 
when you looked at crypto savings accounts, there is a much higher yield than whatever we're getting in our in our savings account. So let's just start at the at the basics. What is a crypto savings account? Well, I think you kind of have to back up even before that, right? So like, what's cryptocurrency? I feel like we've all touched on it at some point in time, right? But, you know, it's this, it's this computer generated money and store of value. And um, I think you're talking about oh, crypto crazy to say, right? It's just right. this commu- computer generated money. Exactly. It's a computer generated token coin, you know, vehicle. And, you know, a lot of people are feeling like it has a store of value. I mean, you can, you know, you see people arguing both sides of it. But I think it's important to note that there are over a thousand tokens and coins. So you might hear about Bitcoin all the time. You've probably heard about Ethereum in the last year. You might have even heard of things like US dollar coin or Doge or other things, but there's a thousand of these. And some of them have practical uses on the internet. Um, Ethereum, for example, has a cool feature that allows for what's known as smart contracts. And so you have this thing, this computer generated token that can automatically run certain contracts for you, which has a lot of practical Mm. uses. Um, But, you know, you have things like Bitcoin that, you know, they don't do a whole lot. It's very much like digital gold. Just it sits there. Um, The one thing that Bitcoin has going for it, though, is it's very secure. The technology is is proven. Like we all know who owns XYZ Bitcoin. We don't necessarily know what's your name attached to it, but like we know that that Bitcoin belongs to somebody. It's on the ledger. It's public knowledge. Um, and so there's a lot of practical uses that are emerging from this stuff. Now the question is, is, is it worth what it's worth? We don't know. All this is you know, to show you that once you follow that, these steps. Because there's practical uses, um, there is the ability to save it, earn interest on it, and of course course, how you're earning the interest on it is that institutions are lending it to other people that are in turn using it for these practical applications and money. And that's how it all kind of reverts back to these crypto savings accounts that you might have seen these crazy interest rates on. Yeah. And you even mentioned that like some of the uses for like Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. And I've even seen Dogecoin people, I think there are certain I, my memory is failing me, of course, at this like right right at this moment. But I know there are a lot of ways that you can actually use it to pay for uh, trips, and travel expenses, and things like that. Like all sorts of different ways that we never even thought were possible. And so I would imagine. I don't know. You know more about this, but I would imagine that um, as this sort of trickles down, more and more people getting cryptocurrency. There are more uh, ways we can use cryptocurrency for things we do on on just like everyday basis. Yeah, and that's the hard part is that, you know, for it to actually be quote unquote money, it has to be like very easily transactable, right? Like, could I go buy my coffee? Could I, you know, buy something with it and like make it fast? So I don't know, Jen, if you've ever used crypto or even transferred it, but like right now, Bitcoin, uh, if you want to do a Bitcoin transaction, it takes a So that's everything for you. Let's see the notification tray. See that. You can edit it. See, so everything works. So follow the demonstration of this video and you will have
Mac OS 12 on VMware on Windows 11. I wait for your feedback. Thank you for your precious time. You've got God. You've got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We should be happier. We should be happier. I will go on to learn something, read something. I should be happier. You will go on to read something, learn something. Oh, you should be happier.